Myself witnessed it happen, like coppers escorting the dealers in. When it, they used to raid, they'd shut our whole block down. They'd search my daughter's nappies. They'd never bust the houses of the dealers because they were on the cops payroll. They'd bust everyone walking around the street. So whether they're users or not, never the big dealers. 6th of July, we had, that was the first day that I was supposed to be. We had a big parade, was about 150, 200 people here. We stopped the first, we had people up on the buildings, on the roofs, the stop had been out of bulldozing. Um, we managed that day without too much trouble. Since then we've been waiting for either the company or the police to do something, they haven't yet, but that, we're waiting for that day that they try to come and kick us out. I don't know what it's like with the Aborigines and everything. I can go in a park with all the qualifications I have. You know, you get like you have to work, you have you to work for yourself as a Rasta. Have they at any point in time acknowledged that what they did was wrong or what they are doing? It's a tender apology a few years ago yeah. for stealing our children while they were still stealing more of our children. So that's the type of rhetoric. Colonialism and greed is the worst thing that ever happened to you. The, the, the internet unites the world, but like the, the internet is really a distraction against yeah. unity sometimes because what goes viral on social media oftentimes is not really activism. Right. Um, um, humanitarian. Yeah, we call it's, that um, keyboard warrior. Yeah. They're very brave with the yeah. brother, but didn't have to do this in the yeah. <laughs> It literally can't happen no more, you know? Change time, you know? You know? <laughs> 